I'm ready to start. Recreational Mining. My name is Brian. Harry's on the camera. Today we've got the leach tank. We're just about done draining it out. Go ahead and take a look down the tank. It's almost all out. No. We we remove we let it settle and then pump off the uh, leach off the top of from above the mud uh, or it goes into here we use just a right that's a cheap fountain pump vinyl hose we just pump it right into a conical tank now down here at the bottom we took a green pot scrubber rolled it up stuffed it in the pipe Right above that is five pounds of marbles. Above that, four inches of fiberglass. And we put a few pounds of spent tailings on top of that to hold it in place. And then we just pump the leach onto the top of it. As you can see how muddy it is. And it acts as its own filter look down below and you'll see how clear it's coming out then we pump it out of there into the carbon tank and today's project is going to be to unload this we got a screen on the bottom, another fountain pump on the end of the hose. We just pump the leach through the pipe. It's got 100 grams of carbon in it. Okay, pretty easy to unload. And we're eventually going to be using uh, beads. So I'm going to want this to be see-through so I can see that the beads are there and doing their job. So we're going to make another one of these today. Okay, the new one's going to be see-through. You can get these online. This is PVC clear. Make sure you get PVC or it won't glue. Cap will come out, look. Little bit pricey, a dollar an inch. This is one inch. It's 
So all I gotta do is find my glue and I can glue it up. Now we're going to need an adapter, a little bit of tough on tape. brass barb half inch to half inch tag down in there it doesn't help Now we're going to put it in the vise and I'll crank the whole thing down nice and tight. that now we need to load it up with a hundred grams of uh, carbon for today
Uh, just so we don't dump carbon out at the end where we don't want it. Gonna hook it up. If carbon goes down this pipe, no big deal. The water pressure is just gonna push it right back in. I'm probably going to use 300 grams of carbon to remove the precious metals from the uh, leach. I've got about 30 gallons of leach, but it only it was only used on 50 pounds of uh, ore. And that's it. We're going to move our tools over here so you can see what we're doing. This is the second batch of carbon. If you go to Chemex and look at their PDF about uh, activated carbon, you will find all the information you could ever want on activated carbon. Okay, let's see if the camera can pick up that carbon in there. Yeah. Now then we get a little kink here, so I'm I'm gonna let this ride above above the tank for now so you can see it pour out. Get a side angle on that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see how much it's coming out, yeah. Um, it pumps out of the look inside the tube. Yeah. yeah. Put the pump back on. Yeah, it's working. You can really see it. Yeah, that's plenty of flow. Yeah. Okay, if you look at that Chemex uh, PDF, you will see they describe using multiple stages of carbon. On the first, I'm going to really generalize quite a bit. On the first pass through the carbon, you're going to get 50% of the metals that you're after. Now if it passes through another stage of carbon, you're going to collect another 50% out of that. And if you go through a third stage, you're going to get another 50%. Eventually, after about three or four stages, sometimes even seven, you're going to wind up with uh, a leech that has almost no gold in it. That's why leeches get recycled, because they do have a little gold in them even when they're completely done. Pass them through again, you reuse them.
the idea with this leech is pass it through the pass it through the uh, carbon and then this leech gets goes back to the beginning goes back to the leech tank we add more ore recharge the leech with eco gold x and we're good to start over again now if you want to see what the what the carbon looks like pencil beds. Carbon loads to all different degrees. The best carbon to use is uh, cocoa, coconut husk carbon. But eventually, we hope to be using uh, resin beads. We've heard that they work very well, especially on one pass. This is going round and round, so it's probably going to collect a lot more than 50%, but we're going to change your carving three times. And then we're going to ash the carving and see what we get. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Thank you.